Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are going to look at uh, another of uh, Symbols uh, products and uh, I have spoken about uh, some of the uh, other series, the um, Protect and uh, Glow series, uh, but uh, there is also the uh, Water Boost series and uh, one of the products from that series is uh, this one here and uh, I found this product uh, interesting uh, because it is a hydrating booster and also because when I look at the uh, water booster products there is something in it that is called uh, saccharide e summerate and that is um, an ingredient that will uh, moisturize uh, your deeper layers of uh, the skin or that is what it is uh, supposed to do and that is kind of like what uh, sets uh, water boost uh, products apart from uh, the other products uh, that uh, Symbols has uh, of the same sort. So it is something that is uh, giving more moisture to your skin and I will say that if I try uh, some of their, for example, their uh, micellar waters uh, for, for cleansing, uh, they have this uh, saccharide isomerate in it and I think that the water boost products with that ingredient in it, they do leave your skin slightly more moisturized or I would rather say less uh, dried out. I think that is more the way to, to say it. So uh, I have looked at some of the other products in the, the water boost series, but uh, those would be uh, day creams and stuff like that. And I am really happy with the uh, moisturizer that I use in general, which is the uh, one from Ambrolis and which I have spoken about many times before, the uh, Le Creme Fluide. And uh, when I looked at this product here, I thought that was a really good idea because uh, it says how to use it. And it actually says that you can just take a, a few drops of the product and you can add it to, they say, your simple moisturizer but I gather I can just add it to any moisturizer that I'm using and therefore I am adding it to the moisturizer that I normally use and that is uh, the one here and uh, I have done that and uh, I must say that I feel it feels nice on the skin it does no um, perfume in it or anything that um, kind of like irritates the skin um, when I just tried it on its own it's a small tube, it looks like this, and I think there is uh, 25 milliliters in it. Um, I just tried it first uh, on my hand to see how it worked, because there is uh, another ingredient in it that you might not uh, like that much, and that is a uh, dimeticone, so a uh, silicone. And uh, some people, they would say that they don't like um, moisturizers and think that it's supposed to do something for your skin. Um, that has a dimeticone in it because what it does is that it leaves a, a layer on your skin and the fear is that then the product will not actually sink into your skin and usually uh, you will often see it in uh, maybe if you take a, a hand cream and it gives this sort of a silky um, feel to it which is um, like a satin kind of silky feel so now you can see there's a little blob on here maybe you can see that and uh, if I just smear it out, it is really like gel-like and watery. And that blob I put on there, it's it's quite a lot. And it also says on the package, a little goes a, a long way. So if you just are adding a little bit to your moisturizer, uh, it should not alter the consistency too much. Because if it does that, I feel that maybe you're using a too much so it's just a, a little bit but i would say that for that little amount i used in this moisturizer here i did feel that it was way easier to smear over my face and this one is uh, on its own so now it starts to dry up so you can see to begin with it's kind of like glossy but then it uh, gradually goes um, like silky smooth and um dry to the touch. I put a little bit maybe too much on. I'll just let it dry for a little while. Uh, so yes it is um, this uh, small tube here and there are 25 milliliters and I would think it should last you uh, quite some time. Um, it felt nice on the skin and when I put it on I felt actually that uh, my skin looked more uh, evenly colored, so less red than it would normally do. Not that I have an issue with having very 
inflamed and red skin. And I don't say that if you have a really red skin that you really have an issue with, that this will uh, in any way uh, cure that um, problem. But just the sort of general uh, little bit uh, reddishness. I felt that uh, after adding this uh, to my cream that it kind of like um, was not uh, as red as it uh, normally was. I noticed a little bit of a difference and I put that down to uh, the fact that it uh, moisturizes the skin more and uh, one of the things that you usually um, have a problem with if you have a reddish skin is that you're simply not having enough uh, moisture uh, in your skin. Uh, so uh, yeah that is obviously uh, if you have a big problem with the uh, not having enough moisturizer in your skin or enough uh, moisture in your skin, this uh, product here will, will not solve that uh, alone. Then again, as I've said in other videos, you need to look more into uh, your uh, skin barrier and how you can uh, make that work better from the inside. And I have other videos uh, about that you can see up here, how to improve your uh, skin barrier. Uh, but just uh, when I put it on, I felt that it looked good. I was kind of like, oh, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Uh, so this is uh, something uh, I would um, actually say I will try and use this for um, some time uh, because I thought it was a good uh, addition to uh, my uh, daily moisturizer. And if we go back and look, um, now I put a little bit too much on. Um, so it is a little bit um, shiny still and uh, it will not go kind of like completely matte because there is something else in it as well and that is um, glycerin and um, if you look uh, at the package there is a, a long list of actually quite a long list of, of stuff uh, in this and the first one is uh, water and then uh, you have a uh, glycerin and glycerin is just this uh, old-fashioned uh, humectant which is in a lot of products and that will give uh, this sort of uh, moisture to your skin but that uh, will not do that uh, uh, in this product alone that is the uh, saccharide uh, isomerate that uh, helps with uh, bringing extra moisture to your skin than just uh, what is coming from uh, adding glycerin which uh, will take uh, moisture from uh, the air into your skin but also from the deeper layer of your skin in worst case um, but um, there is a yeah there's actually quite a, a lot of things in here and uh, do they have a vitamin E and then I don't think they have that um, because usually they would say in these products here they usually add uh, either vitamin C and vitamin E but it doesn't say uh, on this one here it just says uh, with minerals and uh, plant extracts but um, yes, I felt that uh, this was a, a good way of uh, easily getting a uh, saccharide isomerate into your daily moisturizer if it does not have that already without uh, making uh, huge changes because I did really not want to go in and uh, use um, a moisturizer from a Simples because I feel that they are, I don't think they are, are good enough. Uh, they don't, for me, compare uh, with uh, the uh, Ampoulis one here. So for me, this was a, a really good idea to have the uh, hydrating uh, booster that I could just add a little bit uh, to my daily moisturizer and thereby get the uh, saccharide uh, isomerate uh, ingredient into my uh, daily uh, moisturizer. So yes, um, I like this product. Uh, so uh, maybe you could try it out yourself and see uh, if you like it as well and let me know in the comments uh, below. So if you would like to see more of these sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell, do all those things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of these sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.